Oh my gosh, look at that view. Is it real? Yes, it is because we are in Hawaii. Look at this little baby. Moon's having so much fun in Hawaii. Hey, guess what? Moon started crawling while we were on this trip, so check it out. It was on his eighth month birthday. So if you're gonna thumbs up anything in this video, Thumbs up, a crawling moon. All right, so you guys are like, all right, you're in Hawaii, what's happening? Are you working? Yes, we're still working. Even though we're on vacation, we're still working. We have a fabulous video for you guys today. Aeroflow Breast Pumps sponsoring today's video. Look down your leg. <laughs> you wanna come up here? <laughs> all right, so I will tell you a little bit more about Aeroflow Breast Pumps <laughs> later on in the video. Oh, <laughs> Moon loves to grab my hair. All right, so also update before we get into the video on Jeffree Star saying a lot of you guys have been um, commenting where's part two. This time we actually released everything in real time. So when you saw that vlog, that was like the same week we actually <laughs> saw this space. So this is happening in real time. We, we've set the install date for Jeffree Star's Spa-verse. spa verse spa 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 verse spa for the first week of March. So you'll see part two somewhere around then. Yes. And in the meantime, we've been here, we've been ordering all the stuff. We have the waterfall feature already figured out. We're basically waiting for everything to be like delivered and made, like all those custom items. But in the meantime. In the meantime, we are doing three members of the famous YouTube squad of vloggers, also known as the vlog squad. We've got Jason Nash, who is a hilarious, single dad, we're going to help him pull his house together in some way. And then we've also got Carly and Aaron, <laughs> who are best friends, also part of the vlog squad, and we are going to be doing something in each of their places, but we're doing something fun where we're swapping and making best friends help each other, if that makes sense. Oh, that's gonna be good. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, because if you guys are really into seeing Jeffree Star part two. You're gonna wanna know when that's up as soon as we have it edited. So make sure you have notifications turned on. And also we'll see you over on Instagram. Doop, 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 doop. All right, let's get into today's video. All right, we are on our way to Jason Nash's house. Oh, I'm getting photobombed by a monkey. On two little cute feet. Hello, baby. Whoa. Anyways, we're going to go visit Jason. We've got to chat about what rooms he wants to do. I think it's his kid's room, just based off of the very like brief text messages I've had with him. It would be fun to do his kid's room, because I know that they're a big part of his life. I know that Jason just recently filmed the video with Dave and Justin Bieber. Moon and I, however, are always hanging out with Justin Bieber. Do you love Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jason's house. Hello. Knock, knock. Hey. Hi, I'm Jason Nash, and I am a YouTuber, and I'm also a member of the Vlog Squad. The Vlog Squad is a group of people who are friends who all make vlogs. How are you? <laughs> Jason's mom is here. Who's this? This is Moon. Lorraine, you're busy editing? Yeah. <laughs> I have her slaving away here, seven dollars an hour. She's looking for another job right now. Hey, you know get back to Moms work. Are, helpful. <laughs> are you trying to are you trying to get here? I <laughs> I had to try out this projector today until I took it off the wall and then now you guys are here and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm very, very, very um, design challenged. Still not straight. Like but... possibly the worst. Still not straight. <laughs> I'm super excited that Mr. Kate and Joey are here because I am really challenged when it comes to decorating. I am like not good at it. Whatever's done in the house right now, my, my mom did. Wait, so what do you want our help with? Well, this room first. Well, I thought they would, I didn't want to, actually, I actually didn't want to overwhelm you. I was just going to keep it to the kids' rooms. Okay. I have two kids that I love uh, very much, and that is the reason that Mr. Kate is here today, is because she is going to redo my son Wyatt, uh, his room, he's 14, and my daughter Charlie, who's 11. For Wyatt's room, honestly, you could do anything to it and it would be better, even if you just painted a wall. Right now, it looks like somewhere where you'd hold someone hostage. And so, this house is listed. Wait, yeah, what the heck is this? Okay, What's so this house, this house is technically listed as a two bedroom. Oh, this oh, is the garage. This is the garage. It's, not a, 
We had the same joke in the other video. It's not a garage. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't have to stoop to get in. Well, you're good. <laughs> But you're Joey and I, I, I like the, I like the start of this already though because it has the potential to be a magical entrance into something. That's what I'm saying. Like you. What you mean like make like a Hobbit door or something? <laughs> he would love that. Oh, interesting. Oh. Get her reaction. Well, that is... This was just must have been crawl space originally. Yeah, maybe so. We were thinking if you, you know, some kind of low platform bed, take everything down. I thought maybe if you just put wall board and made it a wall. If it were me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't block out any natural light. I mean, I think this. that this is... Oh, yes. Oh! You gave your teenage son a door to the outside? He's just... He's a perfect child. <laughs> Tell me about this. Did you put this in? No. This is mine. I, no. uh, I designed this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this was here. This was just like, I couldn't fit this in my room, so it's here. So basically anything can go. For Wyatt's room, I would just love, oh my God, almost anything. If you would just maybe paint a wall, that would be better than what's going on in there right now. He's really into music. He's really into like rock and roll. So. Um, you know, like a nice bed and then maybe maybe a keyboard. I think in a room like this, because it is so specific, you almost need to embrace the kind of like cave-like It's almost like kind of like a New York industrial, like... Uh -huh. Yeah, like you gotta like embrace like it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, I like that. The grays are nice and maybe like the wall. A very light, not too dark, because dark would make the room small. Are you sure gonna let us do this? <laughs> I don't know. She, I know, I think she, she, she already is. We'll get it done. She already Everyone will be hurt. <laughs> Alright, so you're taking us to your dog. Yeah, let's go see this. Ah. <laughs> arguing about something and my mother was, she came downstairs to go to her room and my mother was like, oh, I'll just let her go. She was like, in kind of a bad mood. I texted her, I was like, hey, do you want to talk? She was like, yeah. And she's like, can you come down? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come down. Yeah. And I was like, hi. And then, you know, she had just gotten the fridge that day and she goes, can I get you something to drink? <laughs> Both of your kids are sneaking out like every weekend. Yeah, right? yeah well, I, they, they can sneak out if they want. <laughs> so obviously, uh, okay, Charlie's okay. your name, right? Charlie. Likes purple. Lavender. Lavender. She lavender. Loves lavender. Okay, so that's her favorite color. She wants color. something on the ceiling. She wants twinkle lights. Tw twinkle lights, fairy lights. Okay. Yeah. Charlie's uh, a little more difficult to please than Wyatt. She really, really knows what she wants. Uh, she wants like a cute room, pink, with twinkle lights. We always joke that her room down there, she wants it to look like a New York apartment because even though she's 11 years old, she acts like she's 26. So yeah, like I want to do like lavender, but like verging on like grown-up lavender. Exactly. Her, right? And what about bed size? I like, like this because um, she has sleepovers, so I like she the trundle. Like trundle, okay. Trundle. This is an interesting little nook. Like mm. does she need like homework space, desk, yeah, desk. etc. in here? The desk could be good. So this seems like a good challenge. Basically, teenager, brother, and sister rooms. Any final thoughts? As you eat, did you <laughs> Don't not mess it up. she's eating, you're eating? <laughs> I'm super excited about this. I've never done anything like this before. This is very unlike me to put money into like decorating, because normally my entire life I've never cared about anything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm sorry, I had to instantly breastfeed him. This oh, is no, what, no, no, the no, good thing guy. about, just whip a boob out. So anyway, <laughs> the rooms. Try to get that trundle in as soon as possible. Are you done yet? It's modern family. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do Charlie and Wyatt's room. As soon as we left Jason's house, I sent Jason some inspiration images for Wyatt's room and Charlie's room, and I was just like, have the kids look at these, because obviously, most importantly, we want the kids to like these designs. I remember how they were like, oh, Charlie wants like lavender, lilac, like pale purple, like everything. I sent them a bunch of pale purple rooms and then two white rooms with twinkle lights. 
and she liked the two white rooms with twinkle lights. One of them had like a little bit of purple in the accessories, but basically she wants like simple white, very grown up. And as Jason describes her, she's 11 going on 30, so it's a very mature room for an 11 year old. The twinkle lights are gonna be really fun and magical though, so. So Jason signed off on everything and last night Kay stayed up late uh, purchasing everything, so. Yep. That's all in route. I have been online shopping like a mad woman while on vacation. So everything's going with that. Wyatt's room is gonna be really cool, but that is a very weird room, kind of like dungeness in a way. So it's gonna be a challenge for sure to make that look good. Well, I think we can do it. All right, moving on to Carly and Aaron. These are two best friends. Obviously, they have a YouTube channel together. They make videos together. So we thought it would be really fun to do kind of a la Trading Spaces style and have Carly help with Aaron's room and Aaron help with Carly's room, like swap. You know, we usually have the YouTuber help with the space, but we're gonna do like flip-flop style. So, we are going to find out how much these best friends actually know about each other's style. Hello guys, all right, I'm so excited to tell you about the sponsor for today's video. It is Aeroflow Breast Pumps. And as you guys know, I'm a breastfeeding mama. It is part of my daily routine. I wake up in the morning and after my first feeding with Moon, I do a pump session. So obviously I needed the perfect pump for that and using Aeroflow Breast Pumps, I found the Lansano Smart Pump and I'm so into this pump because it's compact, which means it's easy to take on the go and traveling. I'm packing for Hawaii actually right now. And I love that it's high tech because there's an app that tracks how much you're pumping and when you're pumping, you can kind of enter it, remember what time of day, etc. Oh, and one thing that I was really surprised to find out when I was shopping for breast pumps is that most insurance providers actually cover the cost of your breast pumps, so you get it for free, essentially. And if you go through Aeroflow Breast Pumps to get your pump, they will manage all of the communication with your doctor and your insurance provider, so it really couldn't be easier. Aww. And you can check out their website, aeroflowbreastpumps.com, for all kinds of other maternity needs, like compression items, milk storage, etc. Because guys, being a mom is amazing, but it's also so much work, so having the items that make your life a little bit easier is so key, so thank you so much. Aeroflow Breast Pumps for being part of today's video. Guys, check them out if you are in need of any kind of maternity items. And let's get back to scouting, shall we? All right, we are on our way to Carly and Aaron. Aaron and Carly. We're going to both of their apartments today because we're going to do a room in each of their places, kind of like best friends edition. You approve? All right, see you at Carly and Aaron's. Aaron and Carly. Oh. Hey guys, we are Carly and Erin, and we have a YouTube channel together called Carly, Carly and Erin. <laughs> we do vlogs, we do sit down videos, we do videos with our friends, aka the, the vlog, vlog squad. squad. <laughs> nice to find you too. Like, nice to what a fun, I, what a fun project. I'm so excited. I know, I'm so excited too. You got, you got roped into this. I did, but I'm, it's good because I don't, like I don't know anything about decorating, so like it'll be good for me. And she has like a perfect blank canvas I literally have a guys to like canvas. Let's go. Okay. So we thought, because we usually like to work with whoever room we're doing like on a couple projects in the beginning uh -huh. before we kick them out, <laughs> but we thought it would be fun to do like working with the best friend on. Yeah, this will be really interesting. So on that note. Let's we, see, let's see your space. Yeah, okay. And we want to hear what you think should happen in there. Okay. Oh, love that. This space was previously used as Carly's ex's studio. So she was never in this room. Like, that doesn't a studio yeah. desk. So like, like music? So, yeah. so okay. first course of action is sledgehammer to this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Light it on fire. <laughs> 
design wise, like what would you okay. put in here? Like so colors or any or style. or function? Like what is the purpose of this room now? Well, I think so. Both of us get a lot of PR, and like as you'll see from my, oh my God, like he keeps staring at me. But so I definitely think like a, a good amount of storage would be good for her. I don't. I just don't have any storage, so I just like put it in here. This is like my storage, basically. So would say, what yeah. would you call this room then? What's it gonna be for her? Like a like cute little girly room where she has like a desk and like a nice little lounge area and maybe some like cat like functional cabinets, like okay. a glam room slash office. Because Carly also edits our videos, not like she's ever really here when she's editing them. But if like on a Saturday she wakes up and like doesn't want to do it in bed. Can come and do it in here. Okay, okay, and now colors. What was her, what's her color? Well, also style. <laughs> style and color. Style is tough because I feel like she like I don't know. <laughs> she, like there's no I, like you're she, trying to tell it Well, no, because like she, I don't think she knows either. Like no, she'll I'm... see something and be like, oh, I like that. Mm. But, but what I, about her personal style? She's got very like obvious personal style. I think. I guess. <laughs> wow. But like, yeah, but like I don't think it really translates to furniture. Into, like furniture. It's like girly nineties. Yeah. Like, like you know, okay, I'm gonna put okay. like a blow up chair in here. We might. That's very nineties dress. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. Like e girl. Uh, Sorry. Did you say e girl? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like chic emo. Mmm. Yeah. Chic like emo. Chic emo. Yeah. I'm still working that out in my mind. I'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah. So we're going chic emo glam room. Chic emo glam room. So like, how did Aaron do? I mean, good. I don't even know how to describe. That's I feel like art. I feel like she's okay. totally right. Like, I don't have a certain style. Like, for everything out there, I would just be out shopping, be like, oh, I like that, and then like, I feel like this goes with stuff in the room, so I just kind of get it. It's very like home goodsy, like Midwestern. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, that's why I kind of agree. I don't oh, think Midwestern. Home goodsy oh, no. Midwestern is chic emo. No, no, I'm saying that's like if you walked in, like that's uh, like the vibe you would get. Yeah. Like very like homey. Are you Midwestern? Like, I'm from yeah. Nebraska. Oh, oh my God, very Indiana. emo. Okay, sort of close. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you decorated out there. So now that we've seen this room, talked about it, can we look at the space that you've sort of decorated out here? Yeah, yeah and yeah. talk about what your faves are. Okay, so what's your favorite thing in here that you've picked? Mm -hmm. Like her TV. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Okay, but like this is cute. You yeah, I love cute that little. I saw it at Literal Home Goods, and I was like, "That's cute." I also like have never decorated before I moved into this place, so I just kind of started getting plants, and then I just like went crazy with plants. Yeah. Like, and the artwork you have up is like kind of like minimalist vibe. Yeah. It's, sort of, it's like it's like hipster minimalist. Yeah, I had pictures up here, and I had to take them down, so I was like, I just need to grab some stuff. So I found these at Target, and I just think they're cute and. This is gonna be key for some inspiration pictures, so I'm gonna send you just some like rooms and be like thumbs up. Just I'll text okay, you and perfect. you can just yeah, that's what I need. I need to see like. something and then I'm like, oh, I like that. Okay, and, and you then can... you're gonna help us pull it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we'll go over your place. Okay. It's right down the street. Yeah. Yes. Like that was, it's right. We just walked right next it's door. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. You're a big lady. Okay, so I feel like there's a, a theme already because it feels like we're in a similar type of room. What are we doing in this room? <laughs> All right. So Aaron and TJ both have like a desk in here where they can work. She definitely wants it to be a nice office for her. And I'm thinking same with like organizational PR stuff. We don't really have storage. So okay. it's also like her extra clothes go in here too. So there's like two closets. Right, and they have this there. clothing rack. So, so yes. Carly, tell me about this clothing this rack. This is stuff you're selling on Depop. What is Aaron's style? Okay, this is the part I'm gonna struggle with. But I'm gonna say like sort of urban outfitter very modern, right? Like mid-century modern? Don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yes, I'm mid-century <laughs> modern. Okay, so really quickly, just rapid fire, what do you think we should do in this room? Make it look like cute. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look cute, urban outfittery, comfortable workspace, slash 
something with the clothes that she could do her Depop stuff. I don't know if it's like an open thing like that or closed. Mm -hmm. Something with these guitars too, I'm assuming. And something with... <laughs> God, did you guys want to order this couch? couch? I did not order this couch. I did not order this couch. <laughs> My fiance did. Is this a couch? Did he think it was huge? <laughs> yes. We were... We got... <laughs> <laughs> we got You're like the price is really good on this we couch. We got catfish by the couch. Shut and up. then it came because Carly we got and I couch fished. Yeah. yeah. We were looking because we didn't want to get one that was too big because the space is really small and our desk takes up so much space. And <laughs> he was like, "Oh, I found one that's like a, like not too Wait, like let's not take these pillows off. It's so much. Actually, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's so insane. Yeah. It's so insane. Yeah. Look, look at what he's. It's a moon. Wait, did you buy it on like Craigslist or something? No, he got. I think he got it from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> yeah, it was. Look at me at it. Because <laughs> when I got here, it was a painting. Yeah. So bringing it back to the design, mid-century modern office workspace. Okay, so Carly, you're gonna help us with Aaron's room. Aaron, you're gonna help us with Carly's room, and we're gonna see how it goes. Are you guys up for that? Yeah. yeah. As long as I have your guys' help, I feel like I couldn't tell you a specific color or thing, but if yeah. I see something, and I would know if she would like it or not, if that makes sense. Okay, great. That's good. Yeah. Are you confident in that? Yeah. Cool. And you're confident. <laughs> and you're confident in her. Yeah. 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 I mean, anything will be better than what's in there now. So. <laughs> Play us out of it, Moon. Play us out. All right, guys. Back in the car. So we saw Carly and Aaron's house, and ironically, the spaces are kind of being used for the same thing, which is kind of nice, because like, it would be interesting to see the comparison of the two styles. Chic emo versus <laughs> mid-century modern cute. They're also both kind of challenging rooms because they're they're actually pretty small. So uh, it's gonna be a fun episode. I'm gonna go make mood boards. I'm gonna put together budgets for them. Erin's gonna send me some inspo pictures because she has some pinned, and I'm gonna send Carly some pictures to approve because she doesn't have anything pinned. <laughs> We're also just like, we have a lot of projects going on right now, so you gotta figure out how in the world we're gonna do all of this. Yeah. So we don't know when the actual episode's gonna come out, but yeah. stay tuned. In the meantime, we'll have other episodes coming out, and then once this one's done, we'll put the reveal of this one out. Yeah. So make sure and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see this Vlog Squad extravaganza. Turn that notification on so you get those alerts. Yeah, get those alerts. And also you guys can shop our merch too if you want to be a creative weirdo and wrap it. And also there's these beauty marks that I've been wearing. Follow us on social and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. If you want to see some before and after design action going on, you can check out our latest video if you haven't watched it. We use all of the 2020 color trends in one room and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So check that out, link will be below. Moon wants a snack. <laughs> Speaking of, thank you so much Aeroflow Breast Pumps for sponsoring today's video. Check them out. All of you pumping mamas out there, postpartum mamas, etc. Let us know in the comments what you think we should do with the designs in those three rooms. Oh no, four rooms. Wyatt's room, Charlie's room, Aaron's room, and Carly's room because we love hearing your suggestions and we love virtually designing with you guys. Also guys, we're on TikTok now. I am TikToking and it's hilariously awkward. So if you guys want to laugh at some awkward TikToks, follow us over there. Dick, duck, dick, duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do on TikTok. Okay, love you, stay creative, stay weird, stay you, because why not? <laughs>